Monkey, with standing orders to shove things like this under your door, the real message here is that Sorel is scared. He knows that your testimony will lead to a grand jury indictment. Look, if they can shove a note under my door, they can do a lot worse. Asking someone to deliver a threat is different than asking them to commit murder. Look, I'm not backing out. I know that this is my only chance. I just... I want this to be over. All right, as soon as the judge approves the plea bargain, we will put in an application for bail. You should be out by Christmas. Uh, thanks. Thanks for coming by. It'll be okay. Later. No, I haven't heard from the judge. Well, when you do, will you tell him, please, that my client is locked in interrogation with police swarming everywhere and he just got a threat on his life? Hello, Miss Davis. Mr. Sorrell? How's Mr. Smith? I assume you're coming from seeing him. I, I don't discuss my clients. No, I hope you've told him to throw himself on the mercy of the court. I'm late for a meeting, Mr. Smith. You know, I was thinking you should drop that case, the Xander case. If he won't confess, it's not worth your time. You could make a lot more money doing other things. Get out of my way. Oh, that's the idea. You stay out of my life, and I will stay out of yours.